Jonah, if you can hear me, go back. Please don't try to find me. I need to do this alone. Last the night. Oh, need to gather more. Dry enough to burn. I hope. Fresh kill. No meat. Going to need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in the snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. For a year, I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities, and kill princes. 
all in search of the prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the prophet's lies from the earth, and at last the divine source will be ours. I have learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the Prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the Prophet survived but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the order of Trinity. These ruins here, Mongolian. We have told the people of the Valley City that we will attack at dawn, but we shall advance behind the Karash at moonrise. The captives we kept from the battles in the west will be our shields as we advance. Few survived the long march across the mountains, but those that live will serve their purpose to the Horde. The city sparkles, a gift not yet given. We will take what is ours and march home with our spoils. Princes of Kiev. How did it come to be all the way out here? Someone was wearing it when they were killed.
Trinity. They're here. Command, do you copy? Survey team, please respond. We got some interference on that last... <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <sighs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. I've got to find this wound. Those leaves should stem the bleeding. <clears throat> Need some kind of bandage. Mushrooms. They're death caps. I should be able to make a poison. Most of the writing is in praise of a military victory, but it looks like they left something nearby.
The Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the Borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. Thing with all this. Should head back to camp and try. Listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Laura. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again! down.
We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find a missing survey. signal we got said they were under attack, then nothing. That was just a few minutes after the natives hit us outside the ruins. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. You tell them to fuck this up. These aren't peasants. Yeah, these are guerrilla tactics. They need to go straight for the cops. All teams, keep your eyes open. The natives booby trapped the woods. Gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again, giving giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play.
fugitive prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them.